Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my voice doesn't usually sound like this. My name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. I'm gonna try not to talk too, too much today. I have some kind of laryngitis thing happening with my voice. Um, Mike's not mad about it. He seems to be enjoying it a lot, but I'm afraid it'll be annoying. So I'm gonna keep this as short and as concise as I can. I placed an order with Glamlight. So they're a black woman owned company very indie brand. I'm super excited um, to be trying this stuff out. So the palette I used today is the Glam Light Bar. And they are, as far as I know, still available on the website. I wanted the purple one. It came in this little like plastic wine bottle thing. I actually tried to keep this part intact. I'm gonna give it to my sister. She enjoys wine, so I thought she might like this. While I was on the website, I wanted to pick up a couple other things. So I'm just gonna show you quickly what I grabbed and then we'll get into the video. I couldn't resist these little lashes. They're called donut lashes. And they come in a little package like that. I just, the packaging for this stuff is absolutely amazing. Okay, I have two more things. I grabbed the Red Velvet Lipstick. It's so cute. But the component, this is amazing. I didn't want to try this one today with the look because I didn't think it would go, but obviously red. It's triangular shaped and there's a mirror. How fun is that? And just clever. If you need to reapply some lipstick, you got a mirror right on it. So I'm really excited to try this. And then the other palette I picked up is the Cupcake palette. And it comes in this little box that opens it's like an oven and then it's got little sprinkles on the front that you know shake around a little bit and the inside looks like that i am on the hunt for a red eyeshadow red red if you know of one let me know because i'd be happy to purchase it and try it out but i think my next look might be with this and that red lipstick it's just so stinking cute it came with a little card there is a little code on here. It says, want to save some money, get 15% off your next purchase. Use code GLAM15. So, hey, <laughs> this says, hi, GLAM foodies. And I want to just quickly tell you about there, about us. It says, GLAM Light Cosmetic Founder Giselle creates food-themed makeup as a way to promote self-love and acceptance. After many years of being bullied due to being overweight, she decided to combine her love for food and makeup to stand up to fat shaming and bullying. Good on you, Giselle. And she writes, through food-inspired makeup, I am creating this judgment-free zone in the makeup industry to let others know it's okay to love yourself as you are. Makeup doesn't have to be one size fits all. Signed, Giselle. I think that's amazing. I think, I think it's great. And I'm really happy to be supporting indie brands. I think life's hard and running a business has got to be incredibly difficult, so. I think I wanna really kind of start focusing at least some of my dollars and time with independent brands, just to see what else is out there. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna stop buying Natasha Nona eyeshadows, but I'm gonna branch out a little bit. I think it will be good for me. And maybe we'll find some really great stuff that you may need as well. All right, I'm done. Please, if you hate my voice, just turn the volume down. These eyeshadows are pretty darn good and I wouldn't want you to miss it. My face is mostly done. I just left my eyes and my highlight undone so I could play with the new stuff. So hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do that. Just click the subscribe button, ring the little bell and choose all and YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, obviously my face is done and uh, my eyes are not. I got two products that I wanna try today from this collection. The first thing is the Glam Light Pina Colada Highlighter. This is what the package looks like. It's super cute. And the inside. So I'm gonna whack that on real quick and see what we think. I swatched it and it looked really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna use my Refer number four face brush. Ooh, hey. That's, that's my kind of highlighter. <laughs> All right, not met that. 
I may have mentioned, I'm going to try not to talk too, too much because I don't want my voice to annoy anybody. Whatever's happening. Hopefully it goes away soon. All right, highlighter on. I, that's amazing. If you need a new highlighter and you like the blinding kind, maybe go check this out. Okay, next up we have the Lime palette. There are a bunch of different ones. Four, I think. Yeah, there's four different ones. I opted for the purple. It just looks really, really fun. And though I don't drink, uh, I like purple. So I want to play with this. I think I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called Fine Taste and get that going in my crease. Ooh, that's pretty. Really pretty, blended out really fast. Cool, okay, Those, that blended out beautifully. And I did add a little bit more, it builds up nicely on itself so far. Now I think to deepen it up a tiny bit, we're gonna go in with Aroma right here in the corner. Just to add a little bit more depth to the crease area. In pan, these aren't particularly dusty. There's not a whole lot of kick up. So that's pretty cool. Ooh. Okay, second shade's on. So far, no fallout. I think we're doing good. I think I wanna use this shade right here called Magnum. There's obviously a lot of purple, but there's different like depths and tones, which I think is pretty cool. I'm just gonna get that going out here. Hey, that's super fun. Ooh, it doesn't seem to be sticking. That could be my brush. Let me try a different brush. I'm just gonna get a flat shadow brush. Let's see if we can get that to stick down. There's definitely some difficulties with that sticking to my lid. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go with this metallic shade right here called Conquered Grape all over my lid. Then maybe I can get that purple shade to stick to the metallic shade. Let's see. We'll try it dry first, just to see. All right, let's wet it, which we all knew I was gonna do anyway. I like to give the eyeshadow a chance first. Every eyeshadow pretty much looks better when it's wet. It's just the way metallics work. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into that Magnum shade and see if we can get that to stick. Yeah, see, not a problem. Perfect. I think for the inner portion of my lid, I wanna go with this pink sparkly shade called Sparkling. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with the other side of that brush I was using for the purple sparkly shade, and I'm gonna wet this right out the gate. Here we go. That's super cute, I like that a lot. I'm just gonna blend over the edge where those two shades meet per use. That's really cute. And it's sticking just fine where it didn't want to before. Now for my lower lash line on the outer portion, I really wanna go in with this Cabernet. I can't say it, I just say. It's this bright blue shade, a bluish purple shade. If I didn't try to look at it and say it, I probably could have, but I did, so now I can't. I'm so sophisticated, I literally never drink. It's a beautiful purpley blue shade. I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit. And I think for the inner portion, I'm gonna go with this shade right here called Earthy. All right. Oh, cute. That's cute. I don't 
really like that. All right, we have used seven shades so far, and I think maybe I'll go with that gold on my inner corner just for funsies. Or maybe on the center of my lid. Maybe both. All right, my brush is pretty darn wet. So I'm gonna go with that gold shade. It's called Chardonnay. And we're just gonna pop a little bit of it right here. See if we can get some, some more sparkle. I'm literally just patting over both sides so it's blended in, so it doesn't look funky. Is that too dark for my inner corner? Let's give it a whirl. A little on the inner corner. Yeah, that's a little bit dark. So I'll just break out my highlight again and go in the inner corner with that. Oops. Oh yeah, check that out. That brightens it up quite a bit. This highlighter is epic. So good. It does appear I have a little bit of fallout, but it seems to be brushing right away. Okay, I'm gonna do some eyeliner and some mascara and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I went in with my LA Girls Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner in the shade Lavender on my inner water, my lower waterline. And then I'm trying out a new mascara. I don't know what I think yet. This is only day two and I only had it on for literally a few minutes yesterday. So I'd like to wait and see what I think about it before I start yammering about it. All right, well, that wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're interested in the wine palettes, I say check them out. I really like how the shadows performed. They built up. I did have a bit of trouble with that one shade. What was it? Uh, with the Magnum shade, but putting on the metallic-y glittery shade first and then putting that on over it made it go on perfectly no patchiness, no nothing. So um, little trick, little tip for me to you. If your eyeshadow's not sticking, try putting it on over a glitter or, you know, metallic-y kind of a shade. I wouldn't go with like pressed glitter. That could look a little funny. I think that's it. I hope you like this video. So sorry about my voice. Hopefully that gets better soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I really appreciate your time today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.